Hello everybody, welcome to this uh, Inkscape at Night. Uh, my name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer and for the past year or so I've been trying to develop a CMYK for Inkscape and uh, I need your help. Um, well, okay, I need your help if you intend to use CMYK in Inkscape. Uh, what I need to be able to do is figure out wh what are you doing? Um, and the way in which we do that with user experience te testing is we basically get users who are the intended users for a particular piece of functionality um, into a room and we ask them to perform certain things in a make-believe. Basically, we play pretend that the software or whatever it is that we're designing really exists and we ask them to walk through steps that they kind of expect to see. Um, they can imagine buttons that are in front of them. They can imagine palettes. They can imagine saving processes, whatever it is. And you basically walk through the entire story from installing Inkscape for the very first time to, um, I don't know, getting the print to actually come out of a machine or sending it off to a printer or whatever it is that you, you would expect for your particular kind of workflow. Um, the reason why I need this is because um, as I've been doing research on how Adobe Illustrator does CMYK, how a lot of the guides um, recommend people use CMYK, it's, um, it, it doesn't seem like it, it's enough or it makes sense or it's uh, actually complicated enough to um, merit all of the extra work. Uh, the, all of those questions may seem a bit like fuzzy, but basically from the programmer's perspective, it's basically like you're putting in all of this extra effort to make your graphic uh, have colors defined in a CMYK space, but none of the guides use or recommend using uh, ICC profiles. Um, none of the guides seem to recommend or use um, spot color checking. And most of the uh, guides seem to have a very simplistic notion of what color matching and color profile use is. Um, so what I need to get a real handle on is like real world users. Um, if I was a, a company, I would of course go out into the world, I'd find some designers uh, and I'd pay them a whole bunch of money to be involved in a study. But since this is an open source project, I'm pretty much dependent upon you guys uh, getting involved and uh, helping me out by uh, doing one of these UX processes. Uh, okay, so the way that this will work, if you're interested, um, send me an email. The details are in the description. And what we'll do is we'll do a screen recording. So you should have a um, camera and a microphone so you can be on video. And we will do. We will go through the pro pro process of uh, installing Inkscape. You'll tell me the story about you know why you're doing it and what kind of work that you're you're into. You can you may even um, imagine a piece of work. It doesn't actually have to be work that you're currently doing. Uh, you can just basically walk through a scenario that's interesting to you or that maybe you've experienced in the past. Um, we walk through the entire thing of creating a piece of artwork. Uh, setting whatever settings that you imagine exist. And then uh, finally, we finish off by creating whatever the construct is at the end. Um, done and dusted, I collect a whole bunch of these together. Um, the ones that are interesting and I get permission for, I'll compile into an actual video that I can publish to the channel so that uh, other users can actually see how this process works. And um, yeah, we will, I think, be able to just make sure that the CMYK functionality that I'm building into Inkscape is actually going to achieve what we think it's going to achieve, right? That this isn't a naive interpretation of uh, color management. And the one important thing that I want to be able to do in Inkscape, which I think is missing from a lot of uh, other tools, is provide a a, a small amount of education for new users about what color management is whether that's through tutorials or links to videos or just making sure that the process itself is very easy to understand. Um, and that really starts with me as a developer understanding what it is that users are trying to achieve. Okay, so um, just to reiterate, get in touch. The details are in the description for this video. And thank you very much for watching.